Hello everyone. Welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. Myself Muhammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro really fast. So the topic of today's video is how to mail merge with attachments CC, BCC and custom subjects using Word, Excel and Outlook. I will show you these feature which are attachments CC or BCC using Word, Excel and Outlook at the same time. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, by CC we mean carbon copy and by BCC we mean blind carbon copy. So this is the list in which we have different information about different people. So basically this is the data of students and we have different information about each and individual student. Here we have first name, last name, due date, semester, then we have attachments. You might be wondering that what it is. Well, this is the path of the attachments which we will be sending to each and individual student. Basically, this data is for the students about their pending dues of their semesters and along with sending the information about their pending dues i'll be sending their results with it as well so these are the files which contains the results of their previous semester for each student so i will open a word document now we will go with blank document so just open it and from here go to your mailings tab and then click on start mail merge from here select the letter option and then click on select recipients basically it will attach your excel file to your this word document so either you can create new list or you can attach the existing one i'm going with existing one so i'll go to the directory where i have my file and after that i will attach that file here it is i will just attach it this is the name of the file and here it says first row of data contains column headers. Yes, I want to have first row of data as column headers. After that, just click on OK. And now it's time to compose our letter. So this is how my letter will look like. Here, I want to add the first and last name of each and individual student. For that, I'm not going to write the name here. I'll just import the fields. So I will go to my mailings and from here, click on insert merge field. Just click on it. And from here, I'll select first name. Again, go to your insert merge field and click on last name. So it will look like hello, first name, last name, and the recipient will get this message. And under it, we will have the information about his or her dues. So for the semester, I'll again go to mailings and I will select the semester field. And for session, I'll do the same. Here it is. I will select the session and for the last one, I'll select the due date. Now, each and every student in the list will get this information with his or her name, her semester, his or her session and the due date till when he or she have to submit the pending dues. Now we will preview this result. So just click on this button and here it will look something like this. If you want to check the other results click on this arrow button and you will see all the information here you might notice that there is no space in between first name and last name and that is because we did not edit one so just click on preview result and we will get out of it so here i will enter a space and now if i go to my preview and here you can see we have space here so we are done with composing our email and attaching all the information and now it's time to mail merge with attachments. By default, we do not have this feature available in our Microsoft Word. For that, we have to download a file. So I will go to my browser and I will download a file. This is the file which I'm going to download and I will leave the link in the description as well so that you do not have to worry about it. So I will just download this file and after that, we will move ahead. So just go to your word and go to your files. From there, go to options and then go to advanced option. Scroll down. Here you will have a section which says general. Go to file location. Here it is. 
go to startup and here it is just click on modify and this is the destination where we have to paste our file which we have just downloaded i will copy the path here close this one just close this one and close this one as well go to your file explorer paste the address which you have just copied hit your enter and here i will paste the file which i have just downloaded and we are good to go so now i will just save my this file and to take our mail merge attachment effect we have to close this file and open it again so i will open my file again and here you can see we have a new tab here which says merge tool so i will just click on it and now i will click on this option which says merge with attachments here we have different fields available and here it says select the merge field that contains the path and file name of attachment if you come down here is the field which contains the path of each and individual document which we want to send to each student so i will just select this one and after that click on add after that we have browse for attachment to be included with all the messages it means it will take the document which will get sent to each and individual student without differentiating them it means it will be a common document so i will just click on it i want to attach a document which contains the information about upcoming events in the university so i want to send this document to each student so i will select this document and we are good to go after that it says merge destination means how do you want to send this one i want to send this as email message so i will select this option after that it says select the field containing the email addresses means you have to select the field which have all the email addresses of each and individual student and this is my field after that select the cc address here i have cc field and for bcc i have a bcc field as well so i will select that one or in case if you want to enter customized email address you can do that as well but as i have field available that is why i'll go with the field instead after that it says data source contain a subject field or text for subject of email means here you just have to enter the subject and that subject will get attached to each and individual email which you will send to every student or you can add a field for it as well i will add a field i will write here after that give it a space and it will add due date for each student and after adding the due date again you can enter some text here so i will write here okay here i will select the field which is due date and now we are good to go so just click on continue and here we have one last thing to do and that is either we can send emails to some number of students or we can send this email to each and every student i want to send this email to each and every student in my list so that is why i'll click on all and then i'll click on okay and if i click on okay my email will get sent to each and every student along with the documents so that was all about how we can attach different attachments cc and how we can bcc our emails which we want to send to bulk of email addresses and with that we get to the end of today's video i hope you have learned a lot of new things if that is the case please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon along with it if you have something to ask please leave a comment below we will get back to you as soon as possible till the next video take care